Yaya Bello hiding in Kogi government house. PDP captain Usman Okai. Okai says, exactly. All this all we know, it's federal government, state government, EFCC. They cannot tell us that uh, Yaya Bello is in this country and they can't find him. They don't know where he's located. Even if he's buried in the ground. Of course, he's somebody that must have opened that ground for him to enter. So they can't tell us that they don't know. Okay. So Yaya Bello... Even right from that day that uh, EFCC went to pick him in his house at Abuja and, uh, you know, police had to protect him. From that day, where we saw how the governor, Usman Ododo of uh, Kogi State, went to Abuja directly by himself, went to Yaya Bello's house and sneaked him out of the house back to, back to Kogi State, okay, in Lokoja. So since that day... They are telling us that they don't know the whereabouts of uh, Yaya Bello. No, Yaya Bello must be in government house. He's there in the government house. And we all know it from the beginning. And even the FCC chairman knows. The DSS, the police, they know. Okay, the judiciary, they know. So that this guy, the only thing here is that he's an APC man. So APC is shielding him and protecting him. The governor is using his own power of immunity to shield Yaya Bello. That is just what is happening. But it looks like Yaya Bello has his own apartment in the government house where he's living with his family as if he's still in power. So this Yaya Bello of a person, I'm telling you, he's there. So now a PDP chieftain, uh, Usman Okai, has alleged and has revealed, exposed, that uh, Yaya Bello is hiding right inside the government house under the coverage of uh, the governor of Kogi State, Usman Ododo. That is it. I'm sure because it was uh, this man that made this man the governor, so he would do everything to protect him. But the question is, how can we, how are we going to continue like this? The big and the mighty are committing crime and are getting away with it. The small will look for what they want to eat, and for some reasons, they are arrested and prosecuted within 24 hours. You can imagine what happened to the issue of, uh, of uh, what is his name? Um, uh, this cross dresser that was jailed for six months, Bob Risky. He didn't take 48 hours, his case was completed. But people like this, uh, 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 Yaya Bello is here and are telling us they can't find him. Eh? EFCC, okay, the same way they arrested the uh, Obi Kubana or Kubana chief priest or whatever they call themselves, and they could not even do him anything. He pleaded not guilty, and the case is over. Now, EFCC has agreed to go and settle out of court. Meanwhile, Bob Risky is serving six months jail time. So the problem is, what is happening here is, is complete fraud, and how do I put it? It's, it's, it's very disappointing that once you have the money, you get the security agencies and forces in your, in your hand and under your control. And in the court, in the judiciary, you get the case. Especially this APC that Ushomole said since 2019, when he said that no matter how big your sins are, once you're in APC, your sins are forgiven. That is again what is playing out in this uh, Yaya Bello's case. With all that he has done, with all that is put on his neck, he is still moving freely. He is still, uh, you know, evading justice, evading arrest. And the government knows about it, but they are protecting him. But if something happens to, if a small man now, Contravenes one thing on the road before you know it, they will judge it. Pa, 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 pa. They will throw the person to the jail, they will publish it, and they will make the name out of it. This is crazy. I'm telling you, how can Yaya Bello be in this country and the law cannot catch up with him simply because he's in APC? It's a very bad one. The House of Representatives candidate of People Democratic Party for Dekina. Basa federal constituency in the 2023 election, Austin Okai, has claimed that immediate past governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bello, is currently hiding in the state government house. So recall that the Economic and Financial Crime Commission had in April declared Bello wanted. So this followed the inability of the former governor to appear before Justice Emeka Nguite of the Federal High Court Abuja for his arraignment over alleged 84 billion money laundering. Hmm, 84 billion naira. So the anti graft um, agency had said 
Anybody with information as to his whereabouts should report immediately to the commission or the nearest police station. Hmm. Tell, you, tell you that they are deceiving themselves. How can you say anybody that knows his whereabouts? Eh? That guy is around and is under the coverage of the governor of the state. Uh, and you are telling us it's just unfortunate. However, in a statement on Friday, the PDP chief did alleged that Ododu played a role in helping Bello evade EFCC by whisking him away from uh, Benghazi Street Zone 4 in Abuja. So according to him, this information was reportedly brought to the President and Commander-in-Chief by the Northern Ethnic Youth Group Assembly. So the Attorney General of the Federation also warned Ododo about obstructing justice. So it is widely believed that Bello is currently hiding in the Kogi State Government House where he is being protected by Governor Usman Ododo. We know. The truth remains that Ododo is allegedly being directed by Yaya Bello from a hidden location, Okai added. Hmm. So the thing here is that the guy is hiding under the coverage of Ododo. We know that Ododo is the person that is keeping him. It's not, there's no two ways about it. Right from, like I said earlier, right from that day that EFCC could not arrest uh, Yaya Bello in his house at, at Abuja. And Ododo drove his, pe his personal vehicle with his oddlies from Lokoja to Abuja into Yaya Bello's house and picked him out with his convoy back to Kogi State Government House in Lokoja. That, that is just all. Since that day, that guy has been in Lokoja. But EFCC is coming to tell us that they don't know his whereabouts and telling the public that anybody that knows the whereabouts of Yaya Bello should report to them, the commission, or report to the nearest police station. Is far, 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 far. The, the, the IGP, the, the EFCC chairman, and the DSS cannot tell us that they can't find uh, Yaya Bello. It is a lie. It is a lie. So, and that is the problem. Government of the corrupt by the corrupt and for the corrupt. Some of the witty concern federal government with Kogi State finances. Exactly. Eh? Nothing, my brother. Now EFCC get concerned with him. Hmm? No longer a free man. Habi, the white lion has turned to a white goat. <laughs> now he can run and hide because his immunity is gone and forces can pick him anytime. But how long will he continue to evade justice? How long will he continue to evade arrest? How long will he continue to do what he's doing? Because he will pay one day. Definitely, he will pay one day. Before it is, uh, before his very eyes, he will pay. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment. As Yaya Bello continued to evade uh, arrest, he's been uncovered, exposed by a PDP chieftain that this man is hiding in the Kogi State Government House under the coverage of the Kogi State Governor Usman Ododo.